Hi guys. How's everybody doing today? What are we up to? I'm just getting ready. Let me set up my station. So let me see what we have. Let me check some. Hopefully that's not too glary. Set up some stuff. Okay, right here, some prep stuff. And that's going to be for later. Hi! Oh, hi, friends! I have Carmen, and I have Deborah, I have Christy, Eileen, and I have AN Adventures. Hi, everybody! Teresa, you made it! Hi, Teresa, you made it. I'm so glad you guys are here. So, um, I did a little bit of prep work. I did a little bit of stitching. Let me show you my prototype. So, I'm going to make a small version of like a shaker. Let me show you. Like this. Can you see that? Let me show you. And then we're going to be making the box that go in it. I've already started making the tea bag. Like the tea bag shakers. Hi, Liz. Thank you. I missed you guys too. Thank you so much, Eileen. Hey, Moon Prolly. I'm so glad you made it. I was thinking this would be so cute if you want to share it with your crafty friends, don't you think? So, like, sharing your sequins, and then we'll decorate some tiny little stuff on the inside. But I I just used, like, a Joann's plastic bag for this. So easy. And this is totally inspired by Paper Milkshake. You know her. She's my favorite, Tennille. Hi, Lola! How are you, friend? So that's what we're doing. So um, I didn't finish all of it because I, if I, if you guys um, saw my, thank you, Christy. So I got these from Michaels. I did a curbside pickup, and I was thinking I want to share it with some crafty friends. And what better way to share it with them? With these cute packaging because I that's my area for improvement is I want to improve on how I package them because I'm not very good at it so that's that's what I want to do thank you Christy so much that's so sweet so that's what we're gonna do guys so this so this tiny suitcase together with the inside boxes all you need is one double-sided 12 by 12 sheet of paper. All of it, including this one. So, it's very economical, but what I did, this one I used, I did some pre-work. I used a single-sided paper. That's why for the inside, I had to use another sheet of paper. But in reality, if you used a single-sided sheet of paper, you will be only needing one 12 by 12. Right there. And then you don't, you don't have to put sequins, but I thought it was so cute because I just got some new sequins. And then you can see it. You can also put some flowers. You can put whatever you like, like these... Um, I just fussy cut some of these from the paper collection. We're using the She's Magic by Dear Lizzie. 
Are you guys ready to make some? You, you guys have your 12 by 12 sheet of paper, a scoring tool, and a trimmer. Then we'll be ready. Come craft. I thought it was so cute. And then we'll finish off the other tea bags and decorate the tea bags together. That'll be so cute. All right, let's do it. All right, so all you need is you get a sheet of 12 by 12 piece of paper. These are my instructions. I just don't want to forget it. Okay, so let's get our paper. So this one is, this is nine and a half by seven and one fourth. Nine and a half by seven and one fourth, and we have to score it. Let's get our scoring tool, and we're gonna score it on one inch on all four sides. Hi, Rachel. We're just starting. We're just starting. So this is a seven and a half by nine and a half piece of paper. So when you cut it. Cut it initially at seven and a half so you can get this much off. And this is gonna give you this is gonna give you enough paper to make the inside portion. Rachel, this is what we're making. Okay, Teresa. I'll put the dimensions in the description once it goes live. So this is what we're making using only one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. So we're cutting it at seven and a half by nine and a half. And then we're scoring it at one inch on all four sides. Right there. One inch on all four sides, guys. Just score it. Thank you. Thanks, Rachel. Okay, so now that we've scored it all four sides, now we're going to score it at four and one fourth and five and one fourth. Okay. Yes. It's very economical. All you need, I suggest a, um, a double sided sheet of paper because you can, you know, you can still see the inside. Right. So, as you can see, I've already stitched just a decoration on them, just a little bit of pre-work. I've stitched them. So, you put that aside. And then, for the strap, this is the strap, this one. For the simple strap, you're going to need a 6.5 by 2 um, sheet of paper which is left over from your cut apart and then you score it you score it at um, one inch and one and three fourths and then you fold it I've already stitched it I'll put the dimensions in the description down below hi Zoe I'm so glad you made it thank you for coming over we are making this one Zoe we're making this gift box and it holds any kind, you know, you don't have to put these dividers. But we're going to be making the dividers and this uses only one sheet of 12 by 12 piece of paper. So now that we have that. Super easy to make. Thank you, Zoe. So what I did is I just scored on all sides one inch and then on the long side you score at four and one four and one fourth and five and one fourth right there. It's Jenny. Hi Jenny. Crafty high low girl is Jenny, right? Thank you, Rachel. All right, so what I did is I just stitch it a little bit. I'm trying to be Abby when I grow up, so I'm putting some 
cat uh, abby is cat paper love and she loves the stitching and i'm trying to be abby when i grow up so that's why hi jenny thank you jenny yes i remembered so that's that's what we have we have the base and we have the lid that we've created now we're gonna put we're going to cut the center if you have if you have a if you have a die that is exactly for here like I have a die that is that fits perfectly but not everybody has it so I decided I'm just gonna cut it to show you guys but if you had a die that fits perfectly I suggest you put a die so you can put the stitch stitch marks on it and it's so pretty so this is what we're making today Jenny so now I'm going to, I'm just going to cut the opening right here. A little bit of opening. So if you have, if you want to join in, let me know so I can review the um, instructions for you. What do you use to stitch with? I've been eyeing a pink sewing machine. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of. A lot of it are sold out right now. I was even trying to get a new sewing machine, but because everybody's sewing masks for the for the frontline workers and for themselves, that's why sewing machines are a hot commodity right now, Rachel. I got mine from Joann's a long time ago. It was my mom's. And so it's sold out. Try joannes.com. Yeah, joannes.com. I saw some. And Amazon still has them, but they are very expensive. So we're just cutting the window, guys. Just to highlight our... Yay! Zoe, I want to see it. That would be so cute. I want to see what you got. What you're going to make. So this is just a um, all uh, everything that we're going to be making is from a one sheet of 12 by 12 piece of paper. I suggest double sided. And so we're going to fold it. Oh, Carmen. Are you using your sewing machine, Carmen? Oh, hi, Carolina. I'm so happy you're here. We are making, okay, let me show you what we're making, Carolina. It's a super simple, like a gift box. This is what we're making, Carolina. And this one uses everything in here and including the inside and the handle. You need one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. I'll check my stash for double-sided. I will make it later. Yes, Rachel, thank you. Don't feel bad. Break that bad boy out. Yep. Take it out. So everything here, just, you know, when you send happy mail to your friends, because I got some new of these from Michael, so I want to I wanna create a box for it. Thank you, Carolina. What? You have four or five, Carmen? You got to sell it. <laughs> sell it to, to a person who needs it. Can I pack my clothes today? <laughs> oh, like a radio outside. Oh, my gosh. What if, Carolina, can you make a version of this, like a boombox? And then you can create a tutorial and make it for us. Wouldn't that be great? That will be cute. Let me show you a boombox that I made using Doodlebug. Just really quick. This is what I made using Doodlebug. The boombox. It does look alike, Carolina. That's a great idea. But this is from Doodlebug. I used... Um, I use like, a, what do you call that? Some doodle pops for inspiration on this one. But this is a little bit on the thicker side and bigger, maybe. I 
Yeah, it does look the same. Oh my gosh, I'm making the same exact thing only in different sizes. <laughs> Right? It kind of looks the same. It does. This one is supposed to be a suitcase. Thank you. Thank you so much. But the boombox idea would be great if we can format it that way. Aw, thank you. Thanks, everybody. So this is what we're going to be making. Okay. So now that we've cut our middle portion, thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Zoe. Um, let's get all let's get our acetate. It's my acetate. So I'm just gonna glue the acetate right here. I'm gonna be using my let me get you get my tape real quick. So that we can glue it. Attach it. All right. Oh, Tina, you made it. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Hi, Tina. Everybody, Tina is from Finland. You made it. What time is it in Finland right now, my friend? <gasps> Hi, Sheila, you made it. Thank you for coming over. Lola's watching too, Sheila. So I'm just putting some double-sided on it. So easy, guys, super easy. And you only, you don't need a lot. You only need one sheet of double-sided paper, which is very economical, I think. Oh, yes, tool. Zoe, you can use tool, and then you can put sequins inside, so it could be a tool shaker on the front. I'm just not making, I'm, I'm not very good at making tool or any kind of shakers, so... I'm trying to, I'm trying to start with some sequins tea bags. Yeah, you can even sew it on. That's perfect. 3 a.m. Tina. Wow. Thank you for being here, Tina. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here, my friend. We love that you're here. Three in the morning in Finland, guys. Thank you, Tina, for being here. <clears throat> it is my iPad and does audio. This audio does do I sound weird? What do I sound like? Sheila Ray is my work best friend. I work with her at the hospital. And Lola too. So now we're going to cut off. I'm just, it's easy for me just to snip the sides for now. I just want to take it all out. Okay, I'm snipping the sides. And then after that, you know how you make a regular box. It's just snipping and then cutting. Audio static on my iPad. Oh my gosh. Is my audio sounding weird? I'm sorry. Thank you for all the nurses. I'm sorry. Is it, I don't know if it's my audio. Um, thank you for all the nurses, essential workers in the house. Thank you, Eileen. That's so sweet. Hi, Nancy. You made it. Thank you, guys. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if it's um, if it's me. Is it my, my tech that's causing this? Hi, NorCal girl. <clears throat> this is Lana. Hi, Lana. So it is staticky. I'm sorry. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how to fix it if it's staticky. Hi, Lana. Welcome. 
Welcome to the afternoon crafting sesh. My kids are loud, sorry. So, oh, Adriana, you made it! Inez, welcome, guys! Yes, I know, we just came off of Abby's um, live. Thank you for being here. Let me show you. Let me show the friends what we're going to be making today. Oh, Ebony, welcome! I'm so glad you guys are here hanging out with us today. This is what we're making. We are making this um, like a suitcase with an opening. And then you have compartments that you can create. And the good thing about this project is all you need is one sheet of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And then you can put tea bag sequins embellishments. If you want to share your sequence, this is how we're going to package it. Oh my gosh, Luz, you're here. Hello. Hi, Latina girl 34. I would love to know your name. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Ebony. Carmencita. Hi, Carmencita. Hi, Alvina. Hi, Lana. Oh my God, I'm so glad you guys know each other. So this is what we're making. That's what we're doing right now. I just want to do a recap. So this paper, everybody. Hi, Cat Paper Designs. I'm so glad that everybody's here today. Thank you for hanging out with us. I'm going to make a list of your names in a little bit. Oh, hi, Natasha. Oh, my Honeycraft's name is Deborah. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad you guys are all here. Thank you for hanging out. So this is what we're making. We're making this tiny little suitcase that can you can highlight. Oh, Arlene, thank you so much. You can highlight your sequence if you want to share sequence with your friends, like a flat mail. Oh, my gosh. Tara, you're here. Thank you, Luz. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> not playing too. Hi, not playing too. Welcome. I would love to know your name, please. So we're going to be making these tea bags. Well, I already made them, but this is what I was going to put in them to share with a crafty friend. Not not playing to what is your oh it's bobby hi bobby thank you natasha let's make it all you need is one sheet of 12 by 12 piece of paper super easy so let's make it so all you need to do is get one sheet of 12 by 12 i suggest double-sided paper and this measures this paper measures nine and a half by seven and one fourth Super beautiful project. Thank you so much, Luz. I appreciate it. So sweet. I'm so glad you guys are here. So I just scored it one inch on all four sides. And then for the middle part, it's four and one fourth and five and one fourth. Super easy. And then this one, you just put a window. And then I put acetate. We just put them acetate. And some simple stitching right here on the top. Hey, Jacqueline. And now we're trying to const construct the box. Super easy project. Super easy. You can make like a hundred of these in no time. With just one sheet. And then just imagine it all matches when you send it out. Wouldn't that be so cute? Not too plain as Bobby. Yeah, not too plain is Bobby. And created me is Carmen. So that's what I'm doing. Just trying to figure out. So because this is going to be your front part. So that's why it's going to close like this. Right there. And then this one is your handle. So let's put it all together. So you guys 
guys can see. And then we'll proceed with the tiny little boxes. All right. So I have my glue gun ready. I love using glue gun. Super fast. Super strong. Super easy. We're using the She is Magic collection by Dear Lazy because... I'm slightly addicted to this collection. Just slightly. I love how you take time to get to know all your friends. Oh my god, Rachel, you're too sweet. Is that an SVG file or a die loose? Um, no, actually, this is just this is just paper, 12 by 12 sheet of paper that you score and you cut. So this is just a simple sheet of paper, nine and a half by seven and one fourth, and then you score it one inch on all four sides, and on the middle it's four and one fourth and five and one fourth, and it's going to be a bag. I am going to put the dimensions below as soon as the live goes up so you guys can create it, because not everybody has dies, and I don't have, I don't have a Cricut or a cutting machine so I just do it all manually okay so we're gonna cut this portion cut this part right there so now we've made the box oh my gosh thank you so much you guys that's so sweet I like to do them manually because I don't have I don't have a machine to cut it. But I have a paper trimmer and I have a scoring tool. I made a prototype last night using scrap piece of paper. This one is my prototype. But it looked good. And I love the paper. Yeah, not everybody has machines, so I wish I had one, so it's it would be so easy. But I don't, but I can still craft. That's okay. Crafting is still super, super possible. <clears throat> you, you know what, guys? This was inspired by... Okay, so I watched Eileen's live. Eileen, I watched your live with, when you were inspired inspired by Adriana's um, vending machine. But I didn't have a Cricut, so I decided I want to highlight some projects too. And so, yeah, this is your, your this is a project inspired by you, Miss Eileen and Miss Adriana. Because I wanted to do like a... <laughs> I wanted to do something to highlight some projects, you know, if you're going to give it away, because that's my area of improvement. Can you cut them? Wait, let me catch up on some um, comments. Exactly, Scrappy Happy, and it costs for more satisfaction when it's all made. Thank you. Some of your favorite projects are the ones that you're working on right now. Thank you so much, Kat. Um... Eileen, so true. I don't have an electronic machine or a sewing machine. I created me. I know you have dyes. You showed us one. How do you cut them? Like, thanks, girly. Um, Teresa, are you talking about this one? Are you talking about the die for the front? Do you mind clarifying? I just use my. I just use this one to cut the window because not everybody has this specific die so I just use the cutter yeah yes this is the die I got it from Aliexpress if I can find the link I will link it but this one is the exact almost the exact thing but I decided I'll just use a cutter because I think everybody has access to a cutter instead of a die See your video, so I was asked my how you want to show us the tools yeah, for crafters. Okay, so I'm going to proceed with creating our box. So now that we have our box, I always like to trim this portion. I just like to trim this part just so it's not too much in the way. So just snip that one just 
just a little bit. So I'm snipping that right there. Okay. So the fun part is this, all you need is one sheet of 12 by 12. No worries, Jacqueline. Right there. And then we can put we can put this on here. That's gonna be our box. Cookies, yes. Let's put cookies. Cookies or chocolates, right? Or if you want to share, for example, you want to share your your pom poms. So see, here's here's what I did on here. You know what? You don't have to put sequins specifically. You can put anything. For example, you want to switch. You want to put some sequins. You want to put some pom poms, right? You can put pom poms to share with your friends like this. It could be a variety of things that's in there. Let's take that out. Or you can you can share some tassels, some paper tassels. That would be so cute. I got Tara, I got it from Michaels. It's so delicious. I want to eat them. Look. Or embellishments. Exactly. Like, um, have you guys seen Bree's super, super tiny rosettes. Oh my gosh, that fits in here perfectly. Right? Wouldn't it be so so sweet to just send this a variety of embellishments, paper clips, um, a variety of some of this right there. Wouldn't that be so cute? I know. Just imagine, like when you, you can you can see it right there. Okay, let me show you when you close it. It's just so cute. <laughs> Tara, I have to laugh. I have to be addicted to cart rights. <laughs> Love your mixes. I need to order the cart rights sequence here. Ooh, Angelina, crafty treats, two thousand seventeen is. Angelina right or angelica no sorry i think it's angelica yes lose all the flowers you inspired me to make look lovely in this oh my gosh yes loose adriana you have to make some you have to make some of these everybody make some of these it's so easy to make all you need is a trimmer a paper cutter um a scoring tool cutter that's it no dies no machine Let's all make them. Let's all make them together and share with each other. That would be so cute. Because I don't have um, a cricket or a silhouette. So we will just make it all manually. So the next part is making the boxes. So the four boxes, I used double-sided paper on this one. So the boxes, you need four sheets of three by four. Oh, yes, Deborah, that would be so cute. <clears throat> I love your clear box bags went viral. Oh, my God, Rachel, that's so sweet. I'm making one and putting sequins in them. Yes, I love sequins. I just don't have a lot of them. Oh, I want to see that, Luz. I'm excited to see your flowers. I don't eat either. I have either the shoe. <clears throat> yeah. So we can just create using these. Um, I can't. I can't seem to find. You know what? I can't seem to find my small scoring tool. So I'm gonna have to crack out my big scoring tool. Give me a sec. I can't seem to find it down here. All right. Can't find it. Let's use the big one. Thank you for all the. I will tag you. Thank you, Fran. Thank you, Luz. I would love that. That would be so awesome. Thank you so much. I love it when you guys tag me, like when you guys made the um, gift back box. I felt so honored that you guys tagged me and used 
and made the gift bag box. I was like so touched. I love it. Okay, so we're going to need four of this. Four of this and this will be, this will create the box on the inside. Yeah, I would say you should do that like that. All right, so let's score it. So all you need is score it, score it on all four sides, three fourths of an inch, all four sides. I just, what is the size? I was washing dishes, <laughs> washing dishes. What was the size again? Okay, so um, the size of the paper, the size of this paper, it's nine and a half by seven and one fourth. Okay, and then you score it one inch on all sides, all four sides. You score it one inch on all four sides. And on the long side, you score four and one fourth and five and one fourth. And that's going to make the base. And Adriana says, I just finished making some of the gift bag box. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I hope you can post it. And I was wondering if you can tag me. That'll be so awesome. I love seeing your creations, you guys. So now I'm going to be making the, I'm going to make the inside. So I'm just going to score, it's super easy, just scoring three-fourths on all four sides. No die. That's it. So you you can, thank you. Oh, L'Oreal is here, the paper stylist. Hi, L'Oreal, welcome. Let me show you what we're making today. We are making this suitcase like a transparent, like a see-through suitcase. So when you when you send tiny little goodies to your crafty friends, you can package it this way. I would love to be tagged, Cat. That would be so awesome. My name and Instagram is Christian's Crafty Adventures. The same. I want to make Luce's flowers too. Oh, when I make the flowers loose, I'll tag you, okay? And then I'll put it in one of these suitcases. What do you guys want to call this suitcase? Let's name it. Just for fun. Okay. Embellishment suitcase or... I would love to support you, Luz. This is such a supportive community. I just appreciate it so very much. I hope your tutorial is still up. Embellishment case. That's so cute. That's a great idea, Carmen. It's like a suitcase full of embellishments. I know, L'Oreal, let me show you the boombox that I made, but this is using Doodlebug. But it's a bigger, this is a bigger one. Let me show you. <laughs> boombox suitcase. <laughs> cute. Let's, let's name it boombox suitcase. That'd be so cute. But this is a bigger version of it. It's so much thicker, and it holds so very much. Look. It holds all of my the stuff for this. Yes, please, Luz. Please make please make a YouTube tutorial. And we will watch it and then create it and then tag you on Instagram. Thank you, everybody. This is huge though. This can this can contain like a mini album and some embellishments in it. So let's let's call it boom box. What are, what are we what are we calling it? Boom box. Yeah, let's call it boom box. See Luz, you're getting a lot of requests. You gotta create it for us. That'd be so cute.
Okay, so now I've I've scored everything. Now I'm just folding them super sharply. This is how I create a boatload of them. Is I just do factory style. Hi Donna, you made it. Yes, Luz, we're giving you all the love. Hi Donna, you made it. Let me show you what we're making. We're making a boom box. We're calling it a boom box for crafty embellishments when you send out to your friends. Look, you can put a variety of goodies in there, some some cute stickers, some tea bag sequins, anything. All you need is one sheet of double sided 12 by 12 sheet of paper. No machine, no dies. So nice hanging out with you. Oh, Jake and Jess, thank you so much. That's so sweet. Thank you for being here and watching. I love your support. Thank you so much. These are my crafty friends online. Hi, crafty Claudette. Just getting off of work. I figured I'd stop and listen to the craft while I drive home. Well, be careful driving. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So, um, Claudette, we are just making a boombox, and don't look at the camera, but just listen. So, I'm going to put in the description down below so you can make it when you get home, and the live posts. And the description will have all the dimensions, and all you need is one sheet of 12 by 12 double-sided piece of paper. That's what I did on here, just one sheet. And that one sheet includes the box, the inside portions, like the mini compartments on the inside, and even the handle. Super, super easy and economical for craft supplies. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm making the inside parts now. I used to roll my eyes at my daughter for watching other people play video games. And now look at me. Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have projects that can be done without machines and all the extras. Are you feeling okay, allergies? Yes, Donna. You know me and allergies. We're very, very good friends. We are, we ha we are in a relationship. <clears throat> They're always with me. Never ending. Um... Well, I'm glad it rained here in Roseville, so that lessened it so much. I remember, like, two weeks ago, it was really, really horrible, but it's okay. It's every year it happens, so got a deal. L'Oreal, I love hanging out with you guys, too. It's so much fun hanging out with you guys. We all just came from Abby's live I'm so glad you guys decided to come over and hang out with me as well. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm off today, so I'm trying to hang out with my friends. Yes, Donna, it does clean up, and it, it helps tremendously. I sound drastically different. I don't sound like a man anymore. Okay, let me catch up on hang out with you guys. Abby is what on YouTube. I missed her live. Um, Abby is cat paper love. <clears throat> Abby is cat paper love. Donna, hi Christy, welcome. My FD work is so fractured. The way my creative juices. This is what a way my creative juices work. You never sound like a man. Oh, I thought in my head I sounded like a man, Eileen. I'm allergic to mold, so the way it makes my sinuses worse. Oh, no! L'Oreal, do you have a YouTube and Insta? <laughs> you guys are so sweet. I thought in my head, you know how you feel like you sound in your head? You sound like very masculine. That's how we felt like in my head. <clears throat> yeah. 
L'Oreal. I was trying to find you because I was trying to subscribe to all the girls. You know how like we talked about supporting each other and subscribing to each other's channel, but I couldn't find your your um YouTube channel. Because there was a lot of L'Oreal's. Yeah, I wanted to ask you. So YouTube, my IG is your paper stylist. Okay. Okay, L'Oreal, we'll support you on that side. We'll support you in your IG account. Your paper stylist. so easy to make you guys just like you're talking you're watching tv you're helping your kids with some schoolwork, which is my favorite part of my day and then you just make boxes and boxes <laughs> you know when you send out when you send out happy mail wouldn't this be so cute to package your beautiful goodies that you create that'd be so cute right there so you're just making four of these and I thought three by four is such, you know, you have a lot of collections that have three by four. Some collections have them as journaling. Done. The first box is done. So three more. I know. I know. I feel you, Adriana. Exactly, girl. That's how I feel like too. But that's what, you know what they say, noisy kids are healthy kids. <clears throat> that's what my grandma used to say to my mom. If they're noisy and moving all over the place, they're healthy. Be thankful. <laughs> so I guess. Um, you play solo? Right there. So easy to make. Now we have two. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, I think I made a mistake. No, it's okay. It doesn't look bad. Oh, it looks good, actually. Uh, my intention initially was to have the yellow on the inside. Ooh, Sherls. Hi, Sherls. Is your name Shirley? Welcome, Sherls. All the girls are welcoming you. Aren't they so sweet? Welcome to the crafting club. Cheryls.com. Shirlene. Hi, Shirlene. Welcome. So let me give you a recap. Shir Shirlene, this is what we're making. We are making a small embellishment boom box. So you can put your tiny embellishments that you create, some pom-poms if you want to share, sequins you want to share with your crafty pals, like you want to send over the mail, anything pretty much. We're just hanging out here crafting. Thank you for hanging out with us and coming over. Shirlene. I love hanging out with you guys. Thanks for being here. Okay, this is our third box, and we are almost done. Thanks, L'Oreal. So the tea bags, can you believe it? The tea bags came from, <clears throat> like, the, the bags that you get at Joann's. I don't know the brand. But they look like this. <laughs> the boom box came back to high school. Yes, exactly. These are, like, these bags for packaging at Joann's. Um, I find them close to the glue area and the sequence area, but these are super inexpensive. What I did is I just folded them and I just use my, what do you call it? The memory keepers. Let me show you. I don't know the name of it. I forget. I was just playing with it. This one. I don't remember what this is called. Luce, you are so sweet. 
I love the tea bags too. You're going to make one for us. I can. I can make some. Thank you so much, Luz. So sweet, you guys. The fuse tool. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, the scrap chick is here. Hi. Hi, the scrap chick. Um, this, what, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know the scrap chick's name, it's, uh, the, the scrapper chick, what is your name? Memory decor box, oh, that's so cute. Hello, Leia, welcome. Welcome, Leia, that's a great idea, Rachel. Memory decor box. This is what we're making, Leia. From one sheet of 12 by 12 piece of paper, no die and no machine because I don't have any Cricut. So this is what we're making to highlight our goodies if we want to share with our friends. This is inspired by Eileen Payne when she made um, Adriana Alvarez's um, vending box. I'm a big fan of you guys's. So this is what we this is what I used mm -hmm. to make that. You know me, I'm always getting sidetracked with the comments and the side stories. So I gotta like focus. I know what's it called, but I don't own one. Thank you, Leia. I'm glad I did. In the Philippines, that's how we pronounce uh, how that's how we pronounce Leia. <clears throat> I think in America it's called Leia, but Leia is how I'm used to saying it. Okay, we are done with the boxes, ladies. Everybody's loving you, Leia. I'm glad that you guys are supporting each other. Oh, the fuse tool, yes. So the fuse tool. Are we are we gonna be making tea bags? Should I plug it in? Maybe I should, huh? <clears throat> Let me see. What do I want to remove? Let me see. Oh, no. That's the light. I don't know. I just unplugged something. <laughs> okay. So, so let's make... I'm going to bring out this stuff for the fuse tool because... <clears throat> oh, my gosh. This heats up so fast. Do you guys find that this is so flimsy? Do you find that it's so flimsy that it just is flimsy? <laughs> I feel that it is. And it just, is there a better way to hold the fuse tool? I don't know. Let me know if you found something like a better option to hold the fuse tool because. <clears throat> Where is everyone from? I'm from California. Just catching up on the comments, guys. Uh, Leia's asking us where are we from. I'm from California in Roseville, Northern California. Thank you, Crafty Claudette. I've never seen the tea bag, so yes, please. Okay, no problem, Bobby. Cricket is going to be doing some maintenance designs. The stand is a joke, exactly. Ooh, a mug would be perfect. Chicago land, yep. Just in case you want to cut stuff. Uh, Charlene is from Connecticut. Nurse Tara is from Maryland. Creating uh, Carmen is from Ohio. Isn't it flimsy? It's so annoying. I'm gonna try that. The um, good idea. So Cal. Luz is from Vegas. Leia, where from SoCal are you? Um, I used to live in Anaheim. 
I'm from Vancouver. Yep, Rachel's from Vancouver. Tina's from Finland. Bobby's from Texas. Yes, Jenny is from Hawaii. Ebony's from Texas. Oh, Natasha's from Brazil. How fun. Guys, we're all international. Crafty Girl is Jacksonville, Florida. Craft Crafty Claudette is from Arizona. Nurse Tara is <clears throat> Nurse Tara's from Maryland. Teresa's from Kansas. Adriana's from Indiana. Eileen is from Missouri. Tina's gonna try to do this tomorrow. Close to Austin, Texas is Deborah. I live in Chino Hills. How fun, everyone. Wait, I need to write it down. <clears throat> I need to make sure I know you guys' names. Oh, Christy's from Riverside. I used to live I used to live in Anaheim in Southern California. <clears throat> did I plug it? Oh, yes, I did. Whoa, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's odd. Yes, I thought it. <laughs> oh my god, that's hot. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Whew. That made me sweat a little bit. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, D don't touch that. Don't, don't, don't touch it for sure. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> oh my God, nurse, nurse. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> oh my God, we have a rock star in the house. Abby's in the house. <laughs> Hi, Abby. <laughs> I know, it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna live. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out. <laughs> oh, let me show you, Abby, what we're making. This is what we're making. Um, I watched Eileen's video and she recreated the vending machine <clears throat> that Adriana made. And so we're making this. It uses one sheet of 12 by 12, no dies, because I don't have any machine or I don't have a silhouette or anything. <laughs> <laughs> do I laugh crazy? <laughs> Loose, do I laugh like crazy? <laughs> I know, it looks like a boombox. And I want to show you my boombox that I created for Doodlebug. Well, I didn't create it for Doodlebug. I just created from Doodlebug, inspired by Doodlebugs, Doodle Pops. <clears throat> Thank you. So that's what we're making. So we're in the process of... And we're making these tiny little tea bags. So that's why I had to plug the very dangerous. <laughs> I had to plug the very dangerous um, and very deadly fuse tool. <laughs> Will you post the dimensions? Absolutely. I am going to post the dimensions for sure. Love it. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. It is. <laughs> we want to make a shaker tea bags. I love it. This community is so supportive, you guys. You guys are the best. That's why I love it on my days off. I try to go on lives because I feel like I'm supported by my crafty sisters. So I'm just putting the <clears throat> the handles. So because Cat is my idol and I want to sew and grow up to be like Cat, I mean by Abby. Look, I did some stitching while she was doing her live. Inspired by Abby. <laughs> I told you, Abby, I want to be you when I grow up. Same as Eileen. So I just put some stitching. All right, so now that we have everything in there, super easy to make, so easy, and you don't have to put all these in here. You can 
you can just put whatever you like but it's just a good option it uses three by four sheet of paper and then you just score it three fourths of an inch on all four sides and you make that <laughs> let me catch up Ooh. so this is done all we need is to decorate it but looks like you guys are really interested in seeing the tea bags what did i do with the tea bags so this um, i know it's hard for you guys to see let me see what is the dimension of this tea bag i got this um <clears throat> i got this uh plastic from joann's and i'm gonna tell you the dimensions that box is too cute thank you so much Thanks, you guys. You guys are so sweet. Oh, cat. I, I, oh, Abby, I can't believe you're inspired by me. I'm just a regular person. We all want to be Abby when we grow up. Leia, yes, you need a sewing machine, girl. It took me three years of seeing everybody put stitching in their, in their embellishments, in their scrapbooks. And then finally, I asked my mom if I can have her sewing machine. <laughs> oh Pia you made it Craft Amazing is her name is Pia This is what we're making uh, you guys so funny and sweet <laughs> Yes sewing machine is the best This is what we're making I'm going to put the dimensions when it posts and this is Pia, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, not saying that you're going to get this, but I know, you know that I'm going to be sending you some embellishments, just saying, just putting it out there. Craft Amazing, her real name is Pia. Just give up on the sewing machine already. <laughs> Any character. <laughs> Kat, uh, Abby, I always cat call you Kat for some reason. Abby, you know, you're my idol girl. I always watch you. Okay. See, I always forget what I'm. Oh, D, you made it, D. You made it, girl. Let me show you what we made. It's okay if it's not straight, Pia. Look, this is what we're making, D. Using one sheet of a twelve by twelve piece of paper. I like being called cat too. I, I can't seem to like put it in my head. I have to like correct myself. <clears throat> D's in the house. P is in the house. So this is what we're making. Um, this paper, all you need is a one sheet of 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And you will be able to create the box, the handle, and the inside portion. Super economical. <clears throat> Oh, you guys are so sweet. I love it. That's so nice. That's so nice, Abby. <laughs> That's so nice of you guys. Thank you so much. I think this is a four. One, two, three, four, five, six, four and six eighths of an inch by. I just got it from the close to the sequence section by seven in Joann's. It was easy enough to to kind of put some because I tried using the uh, laminated I tried using the laminated sheet that didn't work out that's for sure <clears throat> well one sheet wonder oh my god Charlene thanks <laughs> I'm going to make one, but not today. My head hurts. Oh, sorry, Carmen. I know your head hurts. Sorry. Thank you, Luz. That's so sweet of you. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, my God, Abby. I'm starstruck. <laughs> oh, Patricia, thank you for subscribing. I love that. You guys are so sweet. 
See, we have all our idols in here. <clears throat> Eileen, we I need for you, we need for you to hit one thousand subscribers. Yeah. I was I was um highlighting your live. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to Eileen Eileen's channel, she's awesome, and we want her to hit one thousand subscribers. Dollar Tree. <clears throat> Thank you, Eileen. Dollar Tree she protectors work for Fuse Tool. Oh, it does. I will try that definitely, Rachel. Or the plastic protectors with spine. I have that. <clears throat> and I was debating on, you know, the mini albums for the mini albums. And it was less clear. It was a little bit murkier. So the option was this one is clearer and cheaper. Thank you, Charlene, for subscribing. Luz, thank you for subscribing. Just met Eileen two weeks ago and subbed. You did a great job. Ooh, we're on our way. Eileen, you're almost going to be a thousand. We love it. Yes. We want to be supportive in the goals of each other. You know, I think the best way to go, how you hit, how you go up is with friends. Isn't it? Support each other. Bring each other up. That's the most wonderful community ever. So, pretty much what I'm doing is I'm just sealing all the sides. It's been so many years since I've used this. So, yeah. So, I'm sealing all the sides first. And then I'm going to seal the half because I've already made a mark. Because I think I made like eight with this one. So <clears throat> I've marked the half point and I've moved it over to the left and that's where I will seal. Just so it's symmetrical, like a semblance of a little bit of symmetrical. <laughs> bye. Bye, Abby. Thank you so much. Thank you for hanging out, Abby. I appreciate you coming over. Kisses. Have a great dinner, Abby. That's so sweet of Abby to come over. So supportive. I love that. <laughs> oh. Where is Leia going? Bye, Leia! Sorry, I missed. I was really focusing on this because I might get burned. Bye, Leia! <clears throat> Talk to you next time. Oh, okay. I was like, where, where did Leia say goodbye? Okay. All right. Leia's still here. <laughs> I think Abby's the only one who left. So at this point, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe not. Um, but at this point, I'm just trying to seal the sides. I thought you were saying goodbye too. <laughs> so... I've sealed this side and this side. And this plastic comes with, this one is the only opening. And so I've sealed the sides just to determine, like, it depends on you how small you want your tea bag. But it's so easy to make. So the dimensions of the tiny, these tiny little boxes, the dimension is, I think, two and a half by one and a half. It's so small. So I have to make sure that these tiny tea bags fit in them. Let me confirm that for you. I wish I had a smaller ruler. Okay, this one is two and a half by one and a half. And so I had to make the tea bags tiny. So this is what we're making. So what did I do? I didn't know you guys want to see this, so I didn't. I guess we'll just do 
the size of this. So I'm going to close this one just to make it all symmetrical. Ooh, who's going? I'm trying to make... It was a massage. I thought you were saying goodbye. <laughs> all right, so we're sealing it up. I'm not reading any kind of... Uh oh, my allergies are back. I'm not reading because I don't want to get burned again. Ooh, one with a teacup? How would that work? How would it work with a teacup? Inside? Let me see. It's hard to see the clear. And you're messing with, like, burning tools. Gotta be precise. We can make super tiny ones and we can make big ones if you guys like. But I made this specifically to fit the dimensions of the compartments. Yes, craft along with me. That would be so cool. I just made a teapot. It has a lid now. I know what to make with it. Ooh. A teapot. Yes! Wouldn't that be so cute, Dee? It's hanging on the side of your teapot. That's genius! That's genius. So I'm just using the size of the ruler. Gotta go, Christian. Love your project. Super adorable. See you Friday. Yes, girl. See you Friday. I'm off. I will see you. Thank you, Eileen. My cousin. Bye, cousin. It's late for Eileen. Okay. Paper rosettes. What are we talking about? Oh, you're making paper rosettes, Tara? Yes, I am Filipino, Patricia. And Eileen is... I ha has family from Guam, and that's why I call her cousin. <laughs> Girl, your tutorial, oh my gosh. And I tried to order from your site. I tried to order the dye. I couldn't. It was, I was um, driving, driving to work when I was watching your, your video. Well, listening, actually. Are those creep paper or regular paper? Yeah. Wait. Uh, are those creep paper or regular paper? What are we talking about? Regular paper? Uh, <gasps> oh my god! Erica's in the house! I can't believe it! Erica's my idol! <laughs> oh my gosh! Erica! Oh my gosh! You're here! Thank you for being here! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm blushing! <laughs> Abby came to visit. Now, Eric is here. Oh, my God. I'm so starstruck. Tara's here. Oh, my gosh. Can't believe it. It's my lucky day. I have new friends. Oh, my gosh. Hi. <laughs> Loose. Am I weird? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so sweet. I'm so glad you guys are here. <laughs> Ooh, let me show you, Erica, what we're making. This is, um, this is, what are we calling it again? We're calling it a boombox because it looks like a boombox, but it's just a suitcase. And it has mini compartments. So if you want to share with your crafty friends, like a Happy Mail. And then now we're making some tea bags. Right there. Um... So this came from one sheet of 12 by 12 double-sided paper. <clears throat> Thank you. I know, right, L'Oreal? <laughs> Ooh, authentic taco. So this is what we're making, and we're making the tea bags now. I will put the dimensions down below if you guys want to recreate it. It will be so much fun. It will be an honor if you create it. That will be awesome. 
This is what we're making, tiny little tea bags. And Dee is going to put it in her teapot. <clears throat> Let me catch up. Yummy tacos. Oh, my gosh. Yes, tacos is always a great day. That'd be so yummy. Tacos is so good right now. I feel like I want to eat tacos. So that's what we're making. That. So pretty much I'm just using the fuse tool and trying to determine what size I want for the bags. But since I want it to fit in my one and a half by two compartment. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thanks, Pia. So I'm just using my tool right there. I can't wait to make this box. Ooh, I'm so excited, Nancy. Tag me in Instagram if you're if you like. Okay, so let's just make let let's not make a thousand. Let's just make one, okay? So what I'm gonna do. All right, so this is from, you can use any plastic that you prefer. All right, so we made that, right? So all sides are cut, oh, all sides are sealed up. Okay, all right. So you're gonna notice all sides, I'm not, I'm not sure if you can see it. Catching up on that's why I said I was gonna call Chill and make rosettes to curl if I'm making toast tomorrow in your honor, Tara. Wow, I want to make tacos for Tara tomorrow too. Let's do it. Taco Thursday, yay! Let's do it. Let's make tacos for Tara. I want to do beef. <laughs> We're all starstruck. Okay, so now I don't have I don't have the funnel to put it. So now we have all all left and right side and the bottom sealed, right? So I'm going to put the sequins. You can put sequins. This is what I have that's new. <clears throat> That's why I'm going to use these tiny little sprinkle looking confettis. And that's what we're going to put in there. Let's try it. I'm sure I'm going to make a mess, but that's okay. That's live. Ooh, maybe not. Oh, oh, not spilling. Oh, almost. Okay. So now that you filled your tea bag, yeah, tacos is an everyday sitch. So now you seal it up. I'm going to seal it up. I'm not very good at sealing it up. I sealed it up. <clears throat> so let me, let me draw how I sealed it up. Okay. So this is, let's see. Oh, I'm glad I didn't spell that. So this is the tea bag, right? All right. So we've sealed, we've sealed this, we've sealed this, and we've sealed this side. And then you're going to fill it with sequins. After you fill with sequins, you're going to seal this up. And then, <clears throat> so that's what I did right now. And then I'm going to seal this I'm going to seal this again and then put that corner. Just for aesthetic purposes. It's going to be hidden anyways, but that's okay. Oh my gosh. Not even Pia. Pia. <clears throat> Not even I'm not even some of the masters are in the house I am so floored Tara's here I have so many P 
people that I look up to here. I appreciate you guys all being here. <clears throat> okay, so now we made a semblance of a tea bag shape. I hope you can see that. And then I'm just going to get a scrap piece of paper like this. This is just how how long is this one? Maybe three fourths of an inch, mm -hmm. right? Three fourths of an inch. I'm going to attach it right here. Kind of approximate. Okay, then I just use glue gun. I tried it and it worked, so that's what I've been doing. Oh, right there. And then seal it up again. Right there. Thank you, Erica. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. We all love you. You know that. Everybody loves you. Thank you so much for the inspiration that you've given us all. Have a great night. Nurse Tara. That's so sweet. I love I love the humility, you guys. You guys are the best. The best. Okay, let's make it from scratch. I want to show you guys. Where is my... I think I'm missing. Okay, so... Ooh, La Paria. Okay, so I have these tiny little gold circles. I use my puncher. Oh, Federal Way. Hi, Mom. Right there. Hi, Mom. Hi, Ina. Oh, yes. Erica is from... Erica is from Georgia. That's right. I remember we we're talking about that in one of your videos. So I'm just punching two. I'm punching two of the gold. <clears throat> I'm trying to read. I'm trying to do this stuff while I read the comments. That's not very good. <clears throat> okay, so... Thank you for coming over, Ina and Chana. This is what we're creating. It's We're calling it a boombox or an embellishment memory box to put embellishments to share with your crafty pals. So now I've created the tea bag. Tiny tea bag. Let me catch up. Everything is open in Georgia. I'm going down there to hang out. La Paria probably spent it wrong. Like the next week to open in Chicago. Yes, girl, come down. <laughs> All right. You guys are going to meet up and you're going to vlog it so we can watch you guys. Ooh, Las Vegas to see Luz. Oh, can you guys come to California, please? I'm in Roseville. I'm in NorCal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tarana, let's go! <laughs> what? Luce, you too? Oh my gosh. Let's go! And then we can all hit up Tuesday morning. Carmen, please take care. I hope your headache is better. I hope you you feel better, my friend. Take care. Thank you for hanging out with us. I appreciate you being here, my friend. Good night, Carmen. See you next time. I'm in North Florida. Coast beaches are open. Wow. How does that make you feel? 
How does that make you feel that it's open? Is everybody in a mask? Can't wait to go. Was, uh, Hi, Petite Mint. I'm there with you. Hey, do you mind, Petite Mint, letting us know what your um, real name is? Hi, friend. I'm just erasing. Yes, and everyone is pretty good about the CDC restrictions. That's wonderful. I'm glad. Better hurry before they close down. I want to go to Tuesday morning, too. Hey, Petite Mint. Welcome. Lori. I probably should put that. Hi, Lori. You know what? I always I rewatch the lives that I do and then I write your names um, so that I will remember. I'm not very good at remembering, but I will try my very hardest and I will put you on the list. But no guarantees that I'm going to memorize them immediately, but I will definitely try. So we have Petite Mint, which is Lori. Hello, Lori. Welcome. Carolina, I wish I can go to Tuesday morning right now and float over there. I heard that big lots are closing too, filing for bankruptcy. That's what people are talking about. They were wishing that if Tuesday morning opened online, they would not they would not be bankrupt. If they did, wouldn't that be wouldn't that be better for them? Cuz they can still, you know, they still have followers. They're they're loyal customers like us. Only some Tuesday mornings. Exactly. They have to adapt to the times. Yeah. Tuesday car. morning isn't equipped for online. Yeah, that's true. They're kind of old school, isn't it? I think we should decorate. <clears throat> should we decorate the tea bags? Because I think it would be so cute. They have buying power to be able to sell online. Yes, I would love Tuesday morning to be online that would be so great wouldn't it where would where would tuesday morning go for it's still closing our area a matter of changing times because my i heard from my co-worker that hobby lobby is open in my area so they're opening but i'm sure they're gonna be stricter but tuesday morning i love tuesday morning it's my mecca with no new shipments. Oh no. Inventory to get clothes out. I like a box of chocolates. That's true. I wish these flowers are already dry. Let me see. I made these flowers earlier while Abby was doing her live. Let me see. Oh, it's dry. Oh, it's perfect. My closest Tuesday morning is White Plains, New York. How far is that from you, Charlene? So these, let me see. Oh, let's decorate all of these. That'll be fun. And if Tuesday morning opens, I wish they have new stuff because that would be super awesome, right? If they had new stuff. One hundred miles, geez, that's so far. What flower dye do you use to make those tiny flowers? You made baby flowers too. Ooh! Oh, uh, let me show you. This is my favorite of all. 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 Okay. So, these flowers. These flowers, I always use them. And I got it from Amazon. And it came in a set. And then I just use, I just use foam. I just use this foam, this thick foam that I got from Hobby Lobby and this tool. And then I just do that. And then it bends. And then I use Nouveau drops for the middle. And I have guaranteed embellishments to match. 
because I use it on all the paper collections. Thank you. Thank you, Leia. I'm forever looking for a good flower dye. Yeah, this one, this one is so convenient because you don't need, it's just a punch. Thank you. So I'm thinking we can do the flower because the flower is my super uber favorite. And then let's do some sentiments. That'd be so cute. Super simple. Let's try it. Let's try it. Because these are some more of the confetti bags, confetti tea bags that we can create. These are the ones that we've already created. This could be like any size that you like. <clears throat> Tuesday morning is open in San Antonio, Texas. Ooh, Deborah, it's time to shop. Nice tip. Oh, thank you, L'Oreal. Thank you, Luce. Thank you, Bobby. It is a great size, Leia, because... I I use this in every single collection that I play with. I promise you. I, I play it. I use Maggie Holmes. I use it on Maggie Holmes. These are the new fresh ones that I've created using the nope um what is this collection? Uh one fine day collection from my mind's eye. So every single time, and I just if you don't have a lot of Nuva Drop colors, just put white in it and you're good to go. So, so inexpensive. It's a great option. You just have to invest on these punchers. So awesome. It's best purchase ever. Yes. Coco and Reno has beautiful laying flower dye. I need to look that up, Erica. Where did you get the confetti? This confetti shakers. It's this one I got from michaels they're so cute i did a curbside pickup what brand are the punches i think this is ek success carolina ek success friend you can use this look it says ek and you can use it in every single collection and you can layer it up like this bag i created so i just fussy cut these from the paper collection and then i just i can't stop adding these punch flowers they're so appropriate everywhere. And they're so tiny and perfect. <laughs> Got the tiny flower punch from Hobby Lobby. Ooh. I can't wait to try it too. Yay! Thank you. Hobby Lobby would wanna Lobby? I wanna go to Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna go to Hobby I'm Lobby to tomorrow, Lobby. maybe. New has a new name craft tool right, by the paper studio. Need to get those small punches. Yes. <laughs> Erica at the beach. Not. Um, yes. So check out your local Hobby Lobby. I initially found them in Tuesday morning. And then I seemed to have lost it because it was so small. So I had to buy it from Amazon. Whoever's in charge of Tuesday morning want to say the best they could, but they probably have other in investments, so it's not detrimental to those at the top. That's true. That's true. But we're going to get affected. Our lives are going to get affected because of Tuesday morning. I feel like Tuesday morning is my friend during my day off. You know, you just go there and scout for deals and be so happy. Wow. I can't believe... My table got this messy. It's crazy messy. Wait, let me clean up. Just drop me insane. I know. Sorry, guys. My table is a mess. Hobby Lobby is so much fun. And Tuesday morning. If you're to choose, which one is your favorite? Hobby Lobby or Tuesday morning? I vote Tuesday morning. But Hobby Lobby always has 40% off, though. That's a game changer. Luz, I know. I feel your pain, sister. 
I love Tuesday morning too. JC Penny has done it before. I wish they would do that, Erica, because Tuesday morning has our heart. Hobby Lobby is your choice, D. I don't know. I love Tuesday morning so much, though. You know, this is so awesome. It's awesome if you find the stuff that you're looking for. But if you're not, it's like, mm. You know how it feels when you, you went there for some, like a specific product. And then when you get there, it's there. Oh my gosh. You're just squealing in the aisles and the people are looking at you funny. <laughs> I know it's a hit and miss. <laughs> oh, I heard that. Tara, I heard that they treat their employees not very well. I heard that too. Wednesday morning. <laughs> That's funny. I heard that from someone. But you know, they close they close on Sunday for their people for their employees to be able to do worship though. And I thought that was great of them. Yeah, I'll call it Saturday morning. <laughs> it's easier for you to get around, Teresa. What have you heard? What have you heard, Christian? Oh, yeah, Um, I heard that when it comes to, like, vacation, they don't grant vacations and the pay, those kind of stuff. But those are all I heard from people. This is too um, colorful. Yeah. And it got that. Just because yeah. that is a time. <laughs> too cute. Oh, thanks, L'Oreal. You ever heard that employees working during shutdown with no PPE? No way. Uh, Hi, Rose. No PPE. That's so not cool. Okay, Hi, Rose. Welcome. We're creating some tea bags. But let me show you what we created. Um, so this is a boom box, box for your embellishments. And I will put the description down below for all the details so you can create your own. It's so easy to make. And everything comes from one sheet of 12 by 12. The box, the handle, and all the compartments on the inside. Oh, Linda. Hi, Linda. How are you? Hi, Linda. Welcome. This is what we're making, and we're just chatting away. Thank you, Rose. That's so sweet. Hi, Abby. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you coming to my live. Thank you, Tita Ami. I appreciate you so much. Wait, who's Sydney? Carolina, who's Sydney? Redeem Rose is Sydney. Ooh, <laughs> sorry. I just straight up called you Rose. <laughs> sorry, Sydney. <laughs> I assume your name is Rose. Sorry. Hello, Sydney. Welcome. I need to write that down. So what I do is I rewatch my lives so I can write down the names of the ladies and keep track. I have a list, I promise, but my memory is not that great. But this is what we made. So we're pretty much making a tiny little tea bag of sequins so we can put it perfectly in our right there. Oh my gosh, this turned out so cute. I love it. Let's put it in our new bag. Her name is Rose too. Okay, so good. It's okay if I called her Rose then. Not so bad. Oh my gosh, right there. And it fits perfectly. Oh, that's so cute. Wouldn't it be so cute to, to receive this? Oh my gosh. So cute. And then you just put it inside. And then if you want to send out some pom-poms, you want to share some pom-poms with your, for your friend, you can put pom-poms here too. Thank you, Tara. 
pom-poms right there. So these flowers, if you didn't catch that conversation, Q for flat mail, that's right. These tiny little flowers came from this. You get, I found it initially a Tuesday morning. People have been finding it at Hobby Lobby and then I repurchased it at Amazon because I lost mine. Wait, who's leaving? Okay, ladies, good night. Patricia, you're going? Okay, good night, friend. Good night, Patricia. Thank you for being here, my friend. Thank you, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you being here and hanging out with us. Thank you. Sweet dreams. Stay safe and stay strong, my dear. Yes, Rosa in Spanish. Oh, how fabulous. Rosa. So we're pretty much decorating the tea bags. These are the butterflies. I think pink would be cute. Sorry, guys. My table is a mess. I'm not normally like this. But I don't know. It's just so messy today. Sorry about that. Okay, let me catch up. <clears throat> Good night, Patricia. Yep, flat mail for sure, Charlene. Um, love what I'm seeing. Thank you. Thanks for showing us how to make the boom box, LOL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, the boom box. But look how cute it is. This is not even decorated yet, but just imagine. We'll decorate it in the end with some super simple decoration. But look, I just punched from a scrap pieces of paper. Right there. And it all coordinates with a collection. And then the middle part are Nouveau Drops. That's right, Leia. Mama? Mm -hmm. Bye. Where are you going? I'm going to go on a walk. Okay. Have fun. Bye. Bye. My, my people are going for a walk. Thank you. So let's decorate it. And then the end part. I know I have some sentiments right here somewhere. Okay. Right. Magical. Let's do it. So these these um, sentiments that I'm putting, I just got from this, the sticker pack. And then I put it on like cardstock, like some scrap cardstock just to make it a little bit sturdy. And so, yeah. You know me and Fussy Cutting, we are very good friends. We're very, very good friends. Thank you, Geraldine. Oh, my gosh. How are you, Geraldine? Welcome. Thank you so much. And then just imagine you can use vellum on your tea bags. You can use any size you like. It's just cute. And the Nouveau Drops, yes. And the Nouveau Drops, I realized, they dry in about an hour, which is amazing, isn't it? I like doing these flowers. I just create them like crazy when I'm playing with the collection and then they're done. They're easy to create. It doesn't, the flowers doesn't cost you too much when it comes to like tools and paper. Gotta get those drops. Oh my God, I can't fussy cut. Oh, Carolina, I will fussy cut for you, friend. I got you. That's, that's how I relax. I fussy cut. Isn't that weird? But I do, it relaxes me. Whatever you need, Fussy Cut, let me do it for you and I'll send it back to you. <laughs> Love the tea bag. Hi, Geraldine. I'm good. I'm glad you're good. Geraldine, what scissors are those? They look so sharp. Linda, these scissors I've had for four years and it said I got it from Hobby Lobby the paper studio and they're so good for fussy cutting it's so easy tina yes i love fussy cutting isn't it relaxing <clears throat> yes the dairy faster i brought some at the expo last year isn't it awesome i think it's a great investment the nouveau drops i love we love fussy cutting cat right i'll send you the sunny day stickers yes girl i got you Yes, send it to me and I'll even put foam dots for you. <laughs> yes, I love fussy cutting. It just relaxes me. <clears throat> I do it before when I'm parked at the parking lot at work. 
I just fussy cut what I need to fussy cut when whatever collection I'm playing with. And then, and then I'm watching the news or watching videos of you guys. And then, you know, I get to accomplish a lot of stuff and it relaxes me, which is a great deal. It's a great idea. No, I don't like fussy cutting. Erica, <clears throat> girl, I'm your girl for fussy cutting. Send them to me. I will fussy cut them for you. And then it's just, I just love it so much. I don't know why. It's so calming. <laughs> I'm going to fussy cut in retirement before I go to bed. Yes. It's, is it relaxing while you watch your show? I love it. I need to add those Nuvo Drops. Girl, girl, if I were you, I would get the white Nuvo Drops first if you're on a budget because it works in every single collection, even Christmas collections. That's why I got two white ones during the expo. <clears throat> I need just Nuvo Drops. I have the Minty collection and some of them. I have to fussy cut it out along with the markers. Oh, yes, girl. The markers. The Ohu markers. Isn't it so pretty? And so simple. Just a punch and some Nuva drops. And then we all have a boatload of paper. Come on. Let's be honest. So it can work with whatever collection you're playing with at that moment. Look at that. So cute. <laughs> I cheat and use brother scan and cut to fussy cut. Yes, I don't have a, a brother scan and cut. I don't even have a printer that prints colored stuff. I have a printer for documents that's not colored. So I don't have a printer. So that's what I do. I stamp and then I color them and I fussy cut them. I wish I had a nice printer. I need to get the white there always out when I shop. Oh no. No, you can get them, um, Leia, you can get them in Amazon. I don't see strings from the glue gun. Nice. So pretty. Thank you. <clears throat> right there. Oh, sweet. Save a little paper for my favorite collection. See? You make your own. And these are just, I just got strips, maybe like <clears throat> three-fourths of an inch. Strip. Because I got the project pad too for the She's Magical collection. And so I have coordinating cardstock. I normally just get it from my stash. But this one is perfectly coordinated. Which is amazing. Isn't this so nice if you got this from a crafty friend? Right? It's like, oh my gosh, those are the sweetest tea bag thingies. I don't know what it's called, but they're tea bags of sequins <clears throat> yes just imagine saving your tiny little scraps so cute so cute very minimal supplies very cost effective all you need is a punch and you know these tools are so easy to find and then the nouveau drops you can make it with any collection, whatever collection you're working with. You know, when you do your die cutting, there's always scraps in there. <clears throat> how do you do, how do you make your new drop super round? Mine doesn't end up. Oh, okay, let me show you. Let me show you, Pia. <clears throat> so I have these, I have these all cut, right? And this is ready for me to create. Let me move you guys a little closer so I can show Pia how. Okay. All right. I hope you guys can see that. So I just line them up. Let's say right there. I line them up like a factory. I'm like a factory worker. Okay. Line them up appropriately like this. And then I get my tool, which is this one. <clears throat> and I just do this. It's shaking the table a little bit, so it's shaking the 
the camera. All right, right there. And then you get your Nouveau drops. I store them upside down like this, so it's ready to go. Thank you. Ooh, Crystal, is that you, girl? Sister, kamusta na? I love that you're here. My idol is here. Oh my gosh, can you guys see that? Sorry. It's not close enough. How are you, sister? So I'm just... Just like that. Crystal, thank you for hanging out, sister. How are you? Thanks for being here. I'll show you what we made. That's it, Pia. Super easy. I think you have to store your Nouveau drops. I think <clears throat> that's the secret. It's how you store it. It's going to be easier for you to use it. Thank you, Crystal. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> OG in the building. <laughs> we got some rock stars in the house, guys. I love it. Okay, Crystal. This is what we made, sister. Cute ball. Oh, my gosh. So this is like a boom box. So just this is using one sheet of a 12 by 12 piece of paper, double sided piece of paper. This the handle, the box and the compartment itself. 12 by 12. I made my first Nouveau drops yesterday. They're very pretty, especially the glitter ones. How you made your Nouveau drops? How do you make them, Erica? So cute. Where there it can be. Right there. Let me show you the tea bags that we made. We got a talking IG sister. You know me. Right there is the tiny little tea bags that we made. Super easy to make if you want to share your sequins or your confetti with, with your partner or your friend. Not making them with, ooh, not just making them with drops on a mat. Oh, so you can create your own, um, what do you call that? Stickles? No, it's not. There's a term for it. You know me, I forget. I have, to use new, I have them, but never use them. Story of my life. I'm cute. Oh my gosh, Leia. It's so cute. Thank you. Enamel dots. Oh my gosh, yes. That's what I mean. Yes, um, Sydney. Just one sheet of 12 by 12 sister. Enamel dots. You guys. You guys get me. All you need, you don't need a lot of colors. Definitely you need white and pink. And it's going to work with whatever collection. <laughs> yes, we love to buy stuff, definitely. <laughs> So, Erica, do you put them on a silicone mat and let them dry for an hour? Girl, the buying. The buying is exhilarating. I feel like you won something, but you didn't really. <laughs> oh, overnight. Okay, I'm going to try that tonight, girlfriend. That's a great idea. Oh, different color. Thank you, Pia. Good intentions, I guess. Yep. Eventually, I want to craft that. Don't be surprised if I'm sending you a little thank you rack. Oh, my God. No way, girl. Thank you. That's so sweet. <laughs> yes, black is good too, Leia. Yes, let's try it. And make your own enamel dots. That would be so cute. 
buying stuff is another hobby. Oh my gosh. It is a hobby and an exercise, cardio. What's FOMO? Sorry, I'm a little bit on the old side. Yes, major FOMO. Eating chicken apretada. Oh my god, I love apretada, girl. I just ate mechado two days ago. Fear of missing out. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what that meant. Thank you. <laughs> yes, major FOMO for sure. That I get. <laughs> FOMO. Fear of missing out. <laughs> yes. Don't you hate that? I have so many of these. <laughs> I get that. I get that all the time. That's why I stalk my Tuesday morning when I'm off. It's because of FOMO. I didn't even know what foam moment, and I already have it. Thank you, Tara, my friend. We all do it because we love it, and that's what hoarders do. Exactly, girl. Thank you, Tara. Yes, Teresa. Inside of us are all hoarders. <laughs> I'm going to go to Tuesday morning tomorrow. And I'm going to Joanne's to return um, some damaged. So I ordered online from Joanne's and they sent me like bent up stickers, which is not a good idea. Don't like that at all. Yes, P.S. Store them upside down so they're ready to use. Super easy tea bags. Easy feasy. I'm not a hoarder. That's what I tell hubby. Exactly, Luz. Exactly. We're collectors, girl. We're not hoarders. Wait, is your TM open, Christian? I think it is. Bona. Bona, who is um, Live Love Scrap, said it's open. Because Bona and I live in the same vicinity. <gasps> Is Leika here? Oh my gosh. Leika, sister. Leika, how are you? Nice hanging out with you ladies. Gotta get to church. Prayer call. Okay, Leia, pray for us. <laughs> pray for us. Yes, we are collectors. Bye, Leia. Take care, sister. Thank you for hanging out. Stay safe. Stay strong. Stay crafty. Have a wonderful crafty day. <laughs> hey, Crystal. Yes, I live close to Bona. If that's what you're, if that if that's what you're asking. Laika, how are you, friend? Talk to you later, Leia. Thank you for being here. So. Laika, let me give you a recap. This is what we made. It's a boom box. And if you guys recreate it, please tag me. I would love to see it. And this is all from a one sheet of double-sided 12 by 12 paper. And now we're making tea bags. We're making sequence tea bags. You sound just like Bona too. Nice that you are close. Oh, we live close, like we live in almost the same vicinity um, by Northern California. Thank you, Laika. So this is our tea bags. Let me show you, sister. So it has sequins on the inside. So if you wanted to share like sequins, remember I told you, Laika, that I need to improve on my packaging. So that's what I'm focusing on, improving on my packaging skills. So when I send goodies to you guys, it's not in an envelope with no packaging, <laughs> like what I did. <laughs> I'm going there this weekend, so I can go to Tuesday morning. Crystal, where are you going? Are you going to Northern California? 
You gotta make some look so cute. It's so easy to make. Laika, it's so easy to make. Super easy. You just need this. It's kind of a supot from Joann's. Like a plastic material. And you just use your fuse tool. And then you put your sequins and you close it up. And then you just cut this. This shape. And then you put your twine. Uber, uber easy. Wait, I'm always there visiting my aunt. Oh my gosh, we have to have coffee. Crystal. <laughs> Super. <laughs> yes. Where? When? Let me know. Message me on Instagram. I would love to meet you. I'll wear a mask, I promise. I'm not going to give you my work hoodies. Oh my gosh, I would love to. I'll sew mine because I don't have a fuse tool. Girl, you know me and sewing skills. Like, uh, my sewing skills are like level two and a half. <laughs> yes. Yes, Crystal, let me know. We are almost done. I'm just going to decorate one more. And then we'll do a recap and this session is gonna be over almost done my husband works at a hospital so i know how it works yes i promise i will wash my hands two out of two and a half. <laughs> that's so sweet but i don't know about that so sweet of you Leica. i'm so glad you made it sister Crystal, does your is your husband does does he work in critical care? We are done. Right there. So we are done with our stuff. I was intending on making a tiny little but I talk too much. So my plan was to make this. Natasha, hi. I was planning on making this tiny little one in a book. In a book. In a book that I can put in here. But we didn't have time. Maybe in my next slide we'll do that. Um, and I wanted to create a coffee. No, a chocolate bar that has the same concept as this. But a chocolate bar but maybe next time um i did a prototype on it but it's the same concept anyways so i just want to do a recap <laughs> you guys thank you so much loose thank you natasha thank you cat thank you so much for being here everybody just we're gonna do a simple recap sorry my desk is so crazy um I promise I clean my desk on a regular basis, but anywho, I'm just having so much fun with you guys. Adriana, thank you. I think I have to sleep a little bit now. I know, Tina. I know you woke up for me. Thank you so much. Thank you for hanging out, Tina. Jacqueline. Yes, I'm almost done. Thank you for hanging out with me, my friends. Um, just a recap. We did this boombox. And I'm going to put the dimension down below. I'm so sad. I know, Crystal. Sorry. <laughs> if you would like um, to watch the replay, this is what we made. It's so easy. I promise you, you're going to be making a boatload of this. I could do Filipino. I was late. <laughs> if it wasn't my life, I would be late too, girl. <laughs> Thank you, D. Thank you, everyone. It's so easy to make. All you need is a nine and a half by seven and one fourth sheet of paper. And then you score all sides at one inch. And then on the long side, you score four and one fourth and five and one fourth. And this is what you create. So, so easy. Thank you for hanging out the inside portion. All these are three by four sheets of paper scored at three and one fourth on all sides. And this is how you create it. So easy to make. If you like, um, if you're going to make it, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your creations. 
And then don't forget to make your tea bags, your sequins tea bags, guys. They're so cute and tiny. And you can create them bigger or whatever size you deem is appropriate. But they're so easy to make. I'm so glad. And thank you for hanging out with me today, guys. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, friends, for hanging out. My new friends that are just subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. Good night, everybody. Good night, Tara, Crystal, D, Donna, Sydney, thank you. Carolina, Natasha, Luz, thank you. Christy, thank you for hanging out. Laika, sister, thank you. Adriana, thank you so much. Bye, Mom. Linda, thank you so much for being here. Geraldine, thank you so much for hanging out. Ines, Teresa, thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate every single one of you for hanging out with me until the next live session. And I would love to see your creations. Love having you guys. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful crafty day. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't forget to bring your masks. And take care of each other. We got this. It's going to come to pass eventually, but we have to stay strong. Thank you for hanging out. Have a wonderful... Ebony, thank you. Thank you for being here. Everybody, anybody that I did not mention, thank you for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. And I love having you guys as my friends. I appreciate all of you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Whoops. How do I end it?